Hey brothers and sisters, it's Paul here. Um, I really didn't want to share this. I pretty much fought it hard because I didn't want to be a bearer of bad news, but like some of us that go through this, the Holy Spirit will sort us out. So I was originally going to write this all out and I was going to make a big spiel about it, but I'm just going to get to the point. So first of all, I'm saying this with love. I'm going to give you the example that the Lord did to me and take this to God on how it applies to you. So here we go. So on the 3rd of July, earlier this week, I had... Uh, I had a dream, and in my dream I was at the foot of a mountain, a very large mountain. It almost looked like a pyramid. And um, what I saw was people running in all directions. Like, it seemed to be a lot of different levels of, I don't know, staircases or whatever, but people were running in all directions, and very, very large black snakes were chasing them. But they were standing up like this. So... I was watching this and it was very scary to watch till a snake turned and looked at me and it started coming at me and I was like whoa so I turned around and there was like a lake behind me so I just jumped in and I swam and I swam and I swam till I got to this massive rock protruding out of the water and I got on it and when I looked down I immediately saw my hands holding what looked like fishing line with a hook and I don't know why I did this, but I started throwing the line out and I caught the snake and I pulled it as hard as I could and I started to spin it like this. And when the snake caught on the hook and I knew I had it, I swung it as hard as I could and I was smashing it on the rock. And as I did that, the next scene was bizarre because I was in my house with my bro with my wife and I saw my younger brother walk into the house with my ex-girlfriend now this was a woman I almost wanted to marry very attractive she was a model and all this but things didn't go right with her so as he brought her down and went into the basement of my house I was very angry like why would you bring her there and then I heard in my spirit the Jezebel spirit is after my marriage now that's the dream it's finished two parts and the reason I was holding back on this is I've been going through a lot of stuff mentally and physically, you know, in and out of doctor's offices and stuff. So I was stopping what I'm doing now, sharing with you guys. And that might not seem like a very hard thing to people that are just on YouTube watching, but when you're somebody receiving messages and it's been giving you the... Um, the duty to share I was dealing with so much stuff I just didn't care anymore I didn't want to do these videos anymore and I'm sorry about that but when when you're being attacked so hard and I was aware that the Jezebel spirit was causing fights in my house this was very disruptive for me my wife my kids so I, I cried out to God and I finally you know had a dream this morning and it showed me a very specific friend that I haven't thought about in 25 years. And his name is Samuel. So when I woke up, I said, God, is that what you want me to read? And he's like, yeah. So I got up and I, I've been sick all week. I'm not, I haven't been feeling well. So I came out and I was reading the Bible at the book of Samuel. And it was unbelievable what the Holy Spirit taught me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> now, pay very attention pay attention to what I'm gonna say here. find out how it applies to you so God made me really understand that when Saul was chosen to be the first king of Israel like the people decided not to listen to God anymore and they were telling Samuel the prophet we want a king so God said fine give him a king and make sure you warn them what's gonna happen once you get this king so that's the saying, be careful what you wish for came from, as an example. 
So he gave him Saul. Saul was a warrior and he loved God at the time. And when he became rich and powerful, he began to fade away from God to the point where he even tried to kill David down the line. But while I was reading this, I'm like, God, what are you telling me? Why are you telling me all this? And I was reminded in my spirit, my name is Paul. And Paul's former name, Paul the Apostle, was Saul. And I heard, don't be a Saul, meaning don't give up your anointing. So as I was, and I have a study guide Bible, as I was reading these, these notes, and I was going to read all this to you, but I decided to just wing it like this. So in a nutshell, if you're an anointed person and you're given an office, well, regardless of what your office is, mine just happens to be sharing dreams and visions, you continue in that path. Whatever yours is and whatever office you're into, continue on that because you're a representative of God. Now Saul, in the book of Samuel, he was anointed. He was chosen. And he ended up being corrupted. So the world is already corrupted enough as it is right now. We don't need anointed and the saints of the world to fall off their path. Because you're going to be tested very soon. And some of you are going to have to be put in a position, you know, are you going to stand up for God? Peter, think about it. Peter denied Jesus three times. What if you're put in that position? If it comes down to your life, we're sticking up for Jesus. Because when you're in front of God, the Father, the only person that's going to stick up for you is Jesus. So I got sorted out today by God. I got sorted out and shown what I was doing wrong. Stop feeling sorry for myself. Get back on the horse, as they say, and continue down my path in my office, which is what I'm doing right now. So, <clears throat> take the Lord. Use your discernment for what I'm trying to say here. I love you guys a lot. And I truly believe that the dream about the snakes chasing everybody, and in my case, it was the Jezebel spirit, everything is out now. Things are released now in the spiritual world, and they're going after all of us. Stand up. Suck it up. The younger generation needs us now more than ever, because we're the old people that were taught, suck it up and stand up for yourself. They don't know that. I'm going to stop there. These words that I am saying, I've been going over this from the 3rd and today's the 6th. For three days, I pondered on this before sharing it. I'm telling you, take this to the Lord and get ready. It's around the corner. Who knows what's going to happen? I love you guys. Bye.